What's up, my lady loves, and welcome back to Pokemon X version. In the last episode, uh, we defeated Team Flare, and we did a lot of cool stuff. Let me turn down the volume, it's really loud. <laughs> Alright, well, let's continue on into Lumio City. Yeah, that's right, we get to actually access the full city now. Uh, before, I don't know if you guys remember, we couldn't really do much in the city because the power was off. But, yeah, that's what we did last episode. We fixed the power. Butthole! Hello, man. What's, how, how's it going? My name's Butthole. That's me. You summoned me. I ran after you like crazy when I spotted you up ahead. You know what? I heard the power's back on here in Lumio City. Some really bad people were stealing electricity from the Kalos power plant. And somebody, and then somebody came and stopped them. That's, that's me. No one knows who, but they must be awesome. Who do you think it was? Uh, it was me. What? No way. You Butthole. And get this, uh, they're gonna light the tower. Let's go see it, butthole. It's the Lumio City's famous site. Oh, it is, man. It's the, uh, the Iffle Tower. The Iffle Tower. Let's, uh, let's bike our way there, though, man. I keep doing the fishy thing. I don't know why, but, yeah, let's just bike our way there. Hey, this is where you hatch Pokemon conveniently. Well, right, wait, is it right here? No, it's not right here. Hey, Team Flare, what are you doing here, man? This flaming red cafe is perfect for hot young stars like us. We're really blooming, so dark. I don't really care about you, man. I really don't. It's, oh, we're Pokemon Center, right? All right, let's go in here and heal up our Pokemon. I don't know if we're damaged at all, but, you know, you might as well. You never know when your Pokemon need an extra treatin', am I right, people? I'm always right, aren't I? No, I'm not, unfortunately. But that's okay, let's heal up our Poke Pants, and thanks for waiting. We hope to see you again. Well, I don't hope to see you again, because then that means my Pokemon would be, like, dead or something. So, I don't know about that. I don't know if I want you to see my Pokemon again, but, alright, we're here. Hello, how's it going ladies and gentlemen? Let's get ready to rumble. I don't know what I'm saying. Good timing, they're just about to turn on the lights. Oh really? Look, it's Clement. He's uh, Lumio City's gym leader. He's also good at inventing things, and he makes all kinds of devices. Those two are my friends. They are your friends? How do you... How does she... I don't know, man. I don't know. Are you done yet? Look how short she is. Not quite. I just have to check on the lighting circus here, or circuit, not that. Oh, Shauna, are you a challenger? Sorry, but could you wait a moment? Come on, Clement. All right, everything's ready. The future is now, thanks to science. <laughs> All right, Prism Tower Lighting System, activate. <laughs> That's his voice. That's how he talks. That's just how it. It's just how it works. But look. <gasps> uh. Oh, uh, oh, we lit everything up. That's awesome, man. Look at that. It looks nice, man. Looks good. I'm proud of you, dude. You did well. Did very well, little Clements. You, you sure did. Um, I think you call this feeling being entranced, right? Now I have another great memory with you, butthole. Excellent. My prism tower lighting system worked brilliantly. <laughs> Just like all my inventions. Yeah, right. Whatever. Uh, there are challengers waiting for you, you know. Prism Tower itself is Lumio City's Pokemon Gym. Oh, that's cool, man. Clement's invention sure are amazing, right? He gave me one that solves puzzles, but it always feels like a shame to use it, so I haven't yet. Okay, good luck at the gym. All right, man, thanks. Thanks for the thanks for the good luck charm. And of course, my phone. I like like clockwork. Every time I record, this thing uh, goes off. All right, we're in the center plaza, though. Uh, so we're gonna take on this gym. This gym is actually electric type, so we don't really want to use Don't really want to use Bob hole here. I would reckon so it looks like we're gonna be switching out to nibble snarf since he is our ground type Pokemon and so is uh, actually Nidoqueen, Queen, but It's just it just doesn't have good moves. So all right. We're here in Lumio City gym Finally people finally let's head up this elevator and go ahead and get the gym battle started though Bye. I'm sorry, I like the gym music, it's really nice. Ah, you're that trainer from before. Come straight uh, for a battle, have you? Well, good. You can call me Bonnie. I'm this gym leader's younger sister. Go ahead and step onto that small square a few steps directly ahead of you, would you? Uh, I guess I will, man. I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> You'll have to answer my questions if you want to get any further ahead. All right, well, I'll do it. Let's get on this little square thing. Oh, uh, what is that? Quiz time! Uh-oh. That's Pikachu. I already got it, man. I already got it. I already got you, buddy. Who's that Pokemon? All right, three is Pikachu, so let's go talk to number three. You've chosen Pikachu? Yes, I have, man. That's Pikachu. I can see. Let's have a battle before we compare answers. All right, let's also compare other things, baby. You want to compare 
to compare sizes. I'm sorry if my microphone's in the way this time. I just, I can't seem to get the right angle on this thing, so I really hope it doesn't bother you guys. But here we go. Let's go on with Nibble Snarf. We should hopefully be able to outspeed this little Dedene. So let's just go for an E-Quake very quickly here, and it should be more than enough to take this guy out. So here we go, buddy. GG to you, Mr. Dedene. And we're probably going to get a lot of EXP for this. I might turn on my EXP share. Uh, just because I don't know if I want him to get all of the EXP, and I also still want Bob Hole to get nice EXP as well. So, yeah, I'm probably going to turn on EXP share just for the gym battle. Let's see if we were correct, though. Were we? I know we were. It's Pikachu. All right, we got the circle of goodness and the circle of happiness. We all know that circles are the best because they touch tips. Pikachu. All right. Ow, I bit my tongue. That hurt. Ding, ding, ding. You're correct. Well, aren't you a clever one? I guess so, man. I guess so. Ah, my tongue hurts really bad. I bit the crap out of it, man. All right, so now we're in uh, part two of this place. Which floor would you like to go to? I would like to stay on this floor. But we got to do something, man. We got to... Uh, we got to go ahead and turn this on. Should we register this? Let's just register it. And then also, let's give this to somebody really quick. Let's give this to, uh, who's our most used Pokemon? You know what? Let's just give it to Bob Hole. Bob Hole, I feel like, could definitely use this. Let's give Rocky Helmet. Uh, okay. Uh, the holder is hit. The attacker will also be damaged upon contact. Who should we give that to, man? We should give this to, like, I guess Nibble Snarf. Why not? No, we have uh, we have another item that we could give him. Where's it at? Soft sand. Let's go ahead and just switch those out. All right, yeah, we'll switch the two items. And let's see what else we got. We got an earth plate. That also boosts ground type moves. A lot of these things boost ground type moves. Splash plate. Uh, maybe we should give that to this guy. I keep switching the items out. Yeah, all right, we'll do that. And now let's give this to somebody else. Let's give this to... Um, I'd say Simba is our is our ace. Is definitely our ace. And then let's give this to Delphox, I guess. Why not? I mean, I feel like people are going to be hitting Delphox physically more than they would be anything else. So here we go. Let's step up to the thing and go for quiz number two. That is a Fletchling. Who's that Pokemon? Fletchling, Pilling, Pilling, Pigango. All right, it's Fletchling. We know that. We know this one. Bird Pokemon, hmm? Their silhouettes sure do come in all kinds of different shapes. But do you think Fletchling is it? Do you? Yes, I do. I really do. I believe that. Okay, but this is still a Pokemon gym. It wouldn't seem right if we didn't fight. All right, well, let's fight to the death, lady. Let's fight to the death. I will kill your Pokemon if you stop. If you don't stop showing me your butt. Ow. My, these headphones hurt my ears pretty bad. Uh, they're actually, what are they, like Studio Beats, man. They hurt, though. I, I'm not going to lie. All right, let's just go for an E-Quake on this guy. That should be more than enough to take out this Raichu. So, hello, friend, and goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Raichu. So cute, man. I wish they would make it say, Rai Rai, because I love Raichu. It's beautiful. You got a lot of EXP for that, though. All right, can we be done with you? Then step into the elevator. All right, let's step into the elevator and see if we're correct. I know we are, though, because I know what Fletchling looks like. It looks pretty nice. There we go. Made these a little bit shorter. That way it won't hurt as much, hopefully. There we go. We got the second answer correct. Awesome, awesome possum. Yep, it was Fletchling. Ding, ding, ding. You're correct. Well, aren't you the clever one? I, I, I am a clever one. I am a clever one. How about that? All right, let's let's talk to this this stand thingy. Is this the last one? Quiz time. Ooh, that's Panpour, right? That's Panpour. I know it is. Panpour is number three. All right. Well, we're gonna go to the third one and let's hope that we're correct. I don't really know for sure if it was a broccoli monkey or not. Wait, it could have been the broccoli monkey. God, I don't know. What does the broccoli monkey look like? I can't remember. All right. Well, let's hope that we're right. This guy's got an Ampharos. That's gonna be some nice EXP regardless, though. So. I mean, I guess I can't really complain. All right, Nibble Snarf, let's get out here and go for a big E quake on this boy, on this little boy here. He's gonna, he's gonna die. I can already see it. It's a painful death. Boom! Good game, Ampharos. Not a problem, man. And with our boosted ground type move stuff, we're just killing it. And we grew to level 44 from that, man. Nibble Snarf is definitely going to be very over leveled, but that's okay. That's right. It's a certain strength to say yes. Am I right? I don't think I'm right. And step into the elevator. Okay, well, let's step into the elevator and see if we're correct or if we're not. Come on. Oh, okay, we were right. That was actually really suspenseful because I didn't know 100% for sure if I was right or if I was wrong. But there we go. Pampor is what it was. Ding, ding, ding. You're correct. 
We're clever, aren't we? Is this the last one? Oh, it is. All right, let's do it. Quiz time. All right, we got that. That's Butterfree. That one's easy. Okay. Butterfree, Motham. Now, that one's Motham. The other one is... I don't even know. Which one is Vavillion? All right, that's number two. Okay, Vavillion is number two, I think, right? Wow, you're seriously going to pick number two? I don't know. God, I don't know. Okay, number two was Vavillion. I think. All right, Pokefan Lighty. Lighty, Liddy, Liddy. It's probably Liddy. Sends out Plusle. Plusle, could we kill you with a Dragon Claw? I really don't want to use another E Quake because. Oh, well, I guess we'll have Sess. Okay, well, let's go for an E-Quake then and kill this Plusle really quickly. Goodbye, friend. And you're probably not going to give us much EXP because you're kind of a bad Pokemon, but thanks anyway. All right. Oh, my. Aren't you and your Pokemon the best of partners? Yes, we are, man. I would definitely marry uh, Goodbye if I could. Then step into the elevator. Let's see if we're correct, people. Let's see. Ah, uh, wait, did it? Are we? Are we correct? Yeah. All right. We're correct. Awesome, and there's fake cheering in the background. That's great. We did it. We got Favillion. That's the Pokemon's name, right? But that should be it now. We are able to face the gym leader finally, people, finally. Hello there, Clement. How's it going? Oh, thank you again for coming. Allow me to introduce myself. This is the gym leader of Lumio City's Clement. You better watch out. My brother's strong, as strong as you'd expect a Lumio City gym leader to be. Got it? Bonnie, how many times do I have to remind you? It's not my own strength that matters, nor any other trainers. None of us would be here if it weren't for Pokemon. I know, I know. Anyway, I hope you two have an awesome battle. All right, man, let's do it then. She's right about that, at least. Let's both do our best in the battle. Uh-oh, he's got arms. <laughs> All right, I got arms too, buddy, but I don't have them come out of a backpack. But that's still cool. We can still be friends. You are challenged by Leader Clement. Leader Clement sent out Emolga. All right, so Emolga is going to be flying electric. So unfortunately, we won't be able to hit it with any ground type moves. But it does have another weakness, which would be Rock Slide. So let's just go for Rock Slide and hope that we can do enough damage to him to kill it. And it looks like we will. All right, good job. We took out his first Pokemon, Emolga, without any problem at all. Next Pokemon is going to be Magneton and... This thing has, I believe, a uh, four times weakness to E-Quake. So let's just go for an E-Quake really quickly and do some nice damage to him. I don't know why this thing doesn't have Levitate because technically it is floating in the air. But it looks like Sturdy is going to save him. Oh, man. Electric terrain. Now we're just in all yellow. That's fine with me. All right, let's go for a Dragon Claw then just to take him out really... Wow, really? Really, buddy? Okay, well, that sucks. Dragon Claw isn't going to kill him now, but the whole point of it was so I didn't have to use another E-Quake, but that's fine. I'll just use another E-Quake and kill you anyway. Let's just go for the Earthquake, and actually, he would have gotten sturdy again, so I guess it's good that we did that. I don't know. All right, so there we go. Magneton is fainted, and now he's going to go in with his last Pokemon, Heliolisk, which is the electric-type Pokemon of this, this generation. Kind of the electric mascot, I guess you'd say. But uh, I believe this is electric type, just pure electric. It might be normal type as well. I don't really remember. I know Heliolisk is electric normal, which is kind of a weird typing. But yeah, there we go. We killed Heliolisk, and that is good game for this guy. Honestly, not a very challenging gym leader, to say the least. Kind of easy, but that's okay. We defeated Leader Clement. Awesome, man. Your passion for battle inspires me. Well, your loss inspired me. Because you suck. I don't know. M my brother, you lost? Oh, buddy, what will you learn? There's no shame in losing. I'm glad whenever I get to learn something new. Thanks for the strong challengers like boys in pants. Yeah, all right, man. Now the victor, to the victor goes the spoils. The voltage bag belongs to you. All right, we got the voltage badge, which means that we got the... Uh, fifth badge of this this game? Yeah, so there we go. Fifth badge. If you have a voltage bag, you will... Something, and Pokemon will obey you up to level 70. Oh, we got... We got Thunderbolt. That's not bad at all. That's a really good move. Actually, I think we could teach that to uh, Nidoqueen, maybe. All right, the old technical machines. I don't really care about what you're saying. But uh, let's go ahead and teach that to somebody. Let's see if we can teach Thunderbolt to anybody on our team. We could probably teach it to... Um, to Simba, but Simba is a physical attacker, so we don't want to do that. So here we go. Let's see. Yeah, I was I was right about that. You can learn Thunderbolt, Adriana, and I think we're going to teach it to you just because you don't really have a lot of good moves, and maybe this would serve you well. Maybe. 
Anyway, let's see. Our special attack is... I mean, it's almost even, so it's like a pretty good move to teach, right? Right? Let's just... Let's just say that I'm right. I don't know. We're just gonna teach it anyway. I don't really care. All right, here we go. Especially since we have... I don't know. Bite's okay to get rid of just because we have Crunch on... Um, on our other guy. I don't know, man. Let's see what else we got. We got Rock Polish, Thunder Wave, a bunch of other moves. Um, I could also teach it Surf, which is not a bad move as well. Maybe I should just make it all out special attacking. I don't even know, man. I really don't. Hone Claws, Boosty Accuracy. Um, yeah. All right. For now, that's all we're going to do, I guess. But let's get out of here. I think we could step on this thing. Nope. Look, I'm not trying to make anything stronger. Okay. Well, how do I leave this place? I just go out of here. I would like to go to the first floor. All right, I guess that's how we do it. So we defeated the gym leader, guys. Now I don't really know what to do. Whatever the game tells us to do is what we're going to be doing next, which I don't really know what it is, actually. I've, I've kind of forgotten. The holo clip received. Oh, let's see. Who, who is it? Who is who's talking to me on this holo clip? Hello there. I wanted to talk to you for a little bit. Could you come to Lysandre Cafe? Do you know where it is? You can see it from the outside of the Pokemon Center right by... It's a red cafe. All right. I, I think I know where that is. I think it's right above us. Is it? Which way did we come to this place? I don't remember. Is it... Is it this way? Uh, yeah, we definitely... Okay, it's over here. Yeah. All right. I think I got it. I got it, peoples. I got it. Yeah, here's the cafe place. So let's heal up our Pokemon before we talk to him, though. I have the feeling we might be doing some battling or something of that matter pretty soon, so... Dr. Nurse Joy, hello lady, heal my Pokemon please, you beautiful, beautiful creature. Thanks woman, I love you so much, you're the best. You're the best! Alright, but let's switch out our Pokemon really quickly here, because Bob Hole is a little bit underleveled. Well, not underleveled per se, but he definitely isn't the same level as everyone else in, uh, in my party, so... Yeah, here is Lysandra Cafe, I believe. Lysander. Lysander. Am I saying it right now? I don't know. But I think this is a place just because there was a Team Flare member outside of it. Looks like I'm correct. Over here. Hello, friend. This music doesn't sound like French music. It sounds like Spanish music to me. That's why I made him have, like, a Spanish accent. I was just having a conversation with Lysander about Mega Evolution. I would like to congratulate you as well. Mega Evolution is something I, too would like to be able to use. Actually, Lysander himself is of royal ancestry. He truly is a chosen one. True, I'm a descendant of the king's younger brother. That being said, that story is 3,000 years old, so it might not be entirely reliable. Oh man, well that sucks. By the way, Tommy, do you know where the holocaster is made? Um, yeah, let's just say yes. That's right. They're made in Lysander's lab. Lysander is a great man. He supports trainer and Pokemon research with some of the profit from the Holocaster. People can be divided into two groups. Those who give and those who take. It's just as how the Kalos region's two legendary Pokemon gave and took life. Alright, man. I want to be the kind of person who gives. But in, the w in this world, some foolish humans exist who would show their strength by taking what isn't theirs. Their filth! Oh, well. Long, long ago, the king of Kalos sought to take out everything for his own, or to take everything for his own, and he created a terrible weapon. Then the fire of destruction was unleashed. That is the legend that has been passed down. Wow, that's crazy. Kalos is beautiful right now. There will be no foolish accents, actions if the number of people and Pokemon do not increase. That being said, the future isn't decided. You can't be sure each day will be like the one before. Alright, man. What the King of Kalos did was very reprehensible, but the ultimate weapon did manage to wash the world clean of that era's filth. Alright, man. Well, we get a King's Rock for listening to this dude talk a lot. Thanks, man. It's really nice of you. Thank you for listening. Take this as an apology for me taking up your time. Yeah, well, you should also give me, like, a Master Ball and, like, four pieces of bacon, because that's my favorite. What a passionate person. He's just like a blazing flame. Perhaps his pride in his lineage is what makes him burn so intensely. That being said, what Lysander says is only one way of looking at things. It's not necessarily the truth. Tommy, what's truly important is the time you spend together with others. Treasure, 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 treasure those moments. 
spent traveling the Kalos region with your Pokemon. All right, man, I'll treasure these moments, but you really gotta gotta leave me alone, dude. You gotta just stop talking to me. All right, so uh, oh, we got another Hollow Clip message. Who's it from this time? Uh, it's from that guy, Acorn Head. What's up, Trevor? Hello, how have you been? I just wanted to let you know that we're all going to meet on Route 14. Please come join us. All right, Route 14 it is, guys. I think we're going to head over there. I'm going to take a taxi, though, because I don't quite know where I am. So let's go this way. I see a taxi out here. Uh, hello, dude. What's up? How's it going, man? I want to, I want to, I want a taxi. All right, it would be 710 if you want to ride. All right, what are you in the mood for? Um, transportation? Got it. Where are we headed? Route 14, buddy. Yep, that's where we're going. Yeah, that's where I'd like to go. Thank you, buddy. Let's see. We can also catch a new Pokemon in this route. All right, there you go. Here's your stop for whatever. Total will be 1,500. Take care. All right, I'll take care. That was kind of a ridiculous charge, though. Hello, friend. All right, you don't have to say anything. I thought he was going to try to stop me when I walked past the thing, but apparently not this time. Hello, butthole. Hello, how's it going? Oh, this is where we get Siglu and stuff. I want him. You arrived very quickly. Well, I took a cab. That's good to know that it arrived quickly. Oh, hi, butthole. We're just comparing how complete our Pokedexes are. I won, of course. Uh, I'll leave filling up the Pokedex to you, Trevor. All right, man. Let's compare how many like we always do. He's going to... Oh, wow. He lost. Okay. Well, let's, let's not talk. Oh, we're going to battle? Seriously? All right. Well, I didn't really want to battle her, to be completely honest, but that's fine. That's fine and dandy. Let's see what you got, Serena. Uh, Meowstick, of course, is what you always lead out with, isn't it? It's so annoying. All right, well, now this girl or that thing can't really hit us with the psychic move, so we should be good to stand with Bob Hole for a little bit. Let's just go for a surf and see how much damage we can do with our water plate on. We should do a little bit more damage, which is awesome. And, of course, she goes for a light screen. Well, one more surf should be more than enough to take out this Pokemon, and then we'll switch into a physical attacker so that we won't have any more problems. Here we go. Let's go for that big surf. Meowstic fainted. Good, man. Thing deserves faint. Went for a move that was annoying to me. All right, Chestnut is going to be the next Pokemon, so let's go ahead and switch into... Um, we should probably switch into Pidgeot just because Pidgeot. 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 It's Pidgeot. Yeah, we should switch into Pidgeot, though. And go for a Brave Bird just because it's physical and she has a, a light screen up and that's that's not going to do very good. So here we go. Let's go for a Brave Bird on this guy. And that should be enough to take down Chestnut. No problemo, buddy. Sorry, Mr. Armadillo. You look beautiful, but you have to die. That's just how things work in the Pokemon world. There ain't room for both of us. And we got 3,000 EXP for that? Oh, my gosh. Okay, that's kind of ridiculous. We're learning Roost. I don't really want to learn that move, to be honest. And now she's going to go in with Absol. Hmm. Who shall we go in with? Let's go in with Adriana and just go for a power-up punch, I guess. Just because I feel like that's going to do a pretty decent amount of damage, at least. So, let's do it. Let's do it, man. Let's go in with Adriana. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? I think it's actually the same power as Mach Punch, too. So, we really didn't lose out on anything. But, here you go. And this also should... Uh, it'll give us an attack boost as well. So, our next thing will do even more damage. So, here we go. Are you using... Okay, it's Bite. Not a problem, man. Adriana's got this. I believe in her. I believe in her abilities. Here we go. Let's go for one more power-up punch, though, and I hope that's enough to take it out. It is. Not a problem. Good job. And that is good game to uh, to Serena. Serena, you're never going to be able to beat us. I, I really hate to break it to you, but it's just not going to happen. I'm so sorry. That's just not how things work in this game, man. Not how things work. Hey, it's Shauna. How's it going? Wow, that was a really intense battle. Oh, hi, Shauna. When did you start watching? So, where's Tierney? He's at the fighting dojo. Oh, man, really? Really? The fighting dojo? Oh, I'm late, everybody. It's all right, man. You, you don't have to apologize. I was having so much fun sparring with the dance that I totally lost track of time. So, Tierno, have you found any good Pokemon for your dance team? Yep, I sure did. I'm super close to my ideal dance team. All right, man, that's cool. That's great. Good for you. Hey, everybody, let's go to the scary house. The one by Lavier? Isn't that just a rumor? All right, I don't really care, man. Let's just not let's just not talk. How about that? Like, you guys are talking so much, man. No one cares. I like that they tried to introduce Story, but uh, I don't know, man. They're kind of just annoying, if you want me to be, to be completely honest. All right, let's just shut up, please. Please, thank you. Thank you very much. I don't want to hear them hear them talk anymore. Da, 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 da. I like this route, though. Um... All that being said and all the complaints aside, it's pretty cool, I will say that. 
Just because you get a really good Pokemon here. You can slide down a slide. You can do a lot of cool things in this placey place. And I like the music in here too. It reminds me of uh, reminds me of Fable, actually. But let's go into Route 14. And let's catch ourselves a Pokemon. After we connect to the internet, of course. Would you like to save? Yes, I would. But I would rather connect to the internet. Come on, buddy. You can do it. You can connect. I believe in you. I believe in your connecting to the internet powers. Maybe. Actually, it's it's taking a long time. I don't know. Is something wrong? Maybe my router is turned off. Oh, successfully connected. Awesome. All right, well, let's catch a Pokemon, though, here in this route. Uh, hopefully, we get something that we could fight without killing. A Shelmet. Okay, please don't die, though. That would that'd be great. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use a quick attack on you, buddy. And you can't die on me, all right? Don't die. Don't die. Okay, yay. It didn't do that much damage, and you're going to yawn us. All right, well, let's go for one more quick attack, and we should be able to catch the guy just based off of really protects. All right, well, we're just going to throw Pokeballs at the guy then. This is kind of annoying uh, that it did that. Uh, uh, should we switch maybe? I don't know. Let's just stay in and go for some Pokeballs. Then. Oh, this is a Bug-type Pokemon, right? Let's go for a Nest Ball. The lower level the Pokemon. Never mind then. Uh, let's see. What do, what do we have? I thought it was a net ball. All right. Let's just go for an Ultra Ball, I guess. Let's hope that we can catch this thing in one little Ultra Ball thing. I really hope we can. Please get like a critical catch or something. All right. Let's see. Come on. One wiggle. Two. Three. All right. We caught it. Wow. That was easier than expected. I really didn't think that we would catch the thing in just one little one little go. But that's that's cool, man. Unfortunately, our Pokemon had to fall asleep to catch it, but we still got a, a Shelmet nonetheless. Would you like to give a nickname to it? No, I, I would not. I would not like to give a nickname to it. Uh, but what we can do here, let's Wonder Trade it away. We're going to have to save to do that, but that's A-OK, -okay, man. All right, let's Wonder Trade that Pokemon away now, though, because we can get a new Pokemon if we do it. So here we go. Would you like to Wonder Trade? Yes, I would. So how's it going, man? How's, how's school going for you guys? I know that school's still going on, right? Isn't it? I don't know. I feel like I haven't been to school in forever. It feels good, though. It feels really good. I'm actually about to move out to Nebraska soon, though. On the 15th of November, I'll be moving in with um, Munching Orange and Zelda Master. I'm really excited to do it. I, I honestly can't wait. It's going to be a lot of fun. But here we go. We found somebody. Costa from Australia, man. Hi. Shinies for Kyrum. Kyrum. Well, I mean, I can't everybody catch a Kiram. Oh, wait, no, Kiram is in black and white. My bad. I thought it was from X and Y for some reason. But here we go. Let's send away that Shellman, and we get a Geo, dude. Not even bad. I actually really like Geo, dude. So, not bad. Uh, I don't think we can evolve it, though, can we? I mean, it is traded, but... Yeah, all right. Well, we got a Geo, dude. That's pretty cool. Not a bad Pokemon. And uh, we could possibly use it later if one of our Pokemon ever loses, maybe. I don't really know. But uh, I think we're actually going to end off the episode here because it's about 30 minutes and we've done a lot. And the next episode will hopefully be getting to the next city, maybe even taking on a new gym. Who knows, guys? But uh, thanks for your support so far. If you, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like on the video or a comment or anything like that. Man, it really all helps. Thanks for watching again. I will see you all next time.